in your Mary Kay career. One of the things I learned 20 years ago, back in 1988, when I was a brand new consultant, is to care enough to prepare. That's the most important thing before you go to a skincare class, that you care enough to prepare and everything is ready to go so that you won't be frustrated. So I'm gonna share with you some insider tips, tips that I learned long ago on how to make the skincare class go smoothly and easily. So here's the first thing. Make sure that you have a lookbook for each of the guests. Make sure that you've got one of those to the right hand side of their tray. On the inside, when you're packing your bag for your skincare class, make sure that you've got a sales ticket in there and also that you've got a profile card so that they can fill this out if you haven't already done that before going to the actual skincare class. Of course, it's preferable that you do it before the skincare class. So make sure you've got one of these packed for each guest. Make sure that you have a couple extra just in case you have a couple of extra uh, gals that show up, which is always exciting. Now, as far as getting everything together for the tray, it's so important that you have everything together in this fabulous that lock baggie here and inside you're going to find the tray of course this is what you get from the company you'll get this though without the tray um, already on it so you'll want to go ahead and you want to slide the tray onto it the styrofoam tray then this is one of the disposable wash cloths it's important that you've got one of those in there take that and put that aside and then go ahead and stand up your tray and this is how it's going to look in front of your client going to stand in front of her like that and make sure that she knows that she can move this um, mirror out of here if she needs to get a closer look. Now what I've chosen to do all my career is to pre-select a look. Pre-select a look for the guest. You can either select this one here is the Tawny's. That one is a pretty neutral one and I usually pick this one for the guest. Then I would also pick a deep brown eyeliner and a neutral lip liner. I put that on there now that's a personal preference if you choose to go ahead and invest in those and have those for your clients then great and if you choose not to great because what you're going to be doing is and you'll see me doing this here in a while the actual skincare class video that if they're wanting to use those you can say great at your follow-up facial I'll make sure that I have those there for you now also you'd want to put a sponge tip on the tray and you'd want to put two mascara wands on the tray Typically, a client will want to have another application of mascara. You cannot read it back into the mascara bottle because that will create, um, in fact, it can create, I should say, an infection uh, for the eye, if, especially if you're dipping in from somebody actually applying on their eyes. They call that, well, actually, there are little mites that live on your little lashes. So we call that mixing mites. So you don't want to be doing that because that can create a lot of eye problems for your client. So it's always best to be sanitary, give them an extra wand so that there's no problems with that. Now also with the washcloths, uh, what I have done all these years is gone ahead and took a baggie, wet down the washcloths, and go ahead and put those in the microwave and make sure that you get those nice and warm. And then you can go ahead and put those into just a little thermal bag that you, you send the kids off to school with. Just stick those down in there and then that way you've got everything ready. So when you get to the skincare class, it's so much easier to go ahead and set everything out so that everything's ready to rock and roll. Now put these, the little bag, the little zip bag, put that in a safe spot in around the skincare class area so that you can pack those up easily or have your hostess do that for you while you're talking to your clients individually. So I hope that helped you because when I was a brand new consultant and I did not do this and did not care enough to prepare, I typically would leave the styrofoam insert at home or the mascara wands or the sponge tips. So it's so much better to do that at night, the night before your skincare class. And pack those, get those in your car, and just get those little things done because it's the brain sand in the shoe that's not to make it